Kiev diary, day 17 of Vladimir Putin's war. Uh, the electricity is still on, the internet is still on. Uh, there are no Russian tanks on my street, Kreshatik, and uh, I'm still wearing my lucky orange hat. Um, someone on Twitter said that his uh, Russian army is five miles from the city center. Well, that's bollocks, isn't it? Because if they were, the Ukrainians would be fighting them like Bengal tigers. And as you can see, you can't, as you can hear, sorry, uh, you can't hear any sound, uh, sound of fighting in the center. Yes, there are crumps in the distance. Yes, there are air raid sirens, normally when I'm coming back from the boozer. But the war isn't here yet. It's 15 miles away. So the fear for all of us in Kiev is the Russians are playing it softly, softly. They are seeking to encircle the capital, which is now half empty. And what they're trying to do is to come in from the north and the east. The war is grim in the south, in the far south. Maripol is being smashed to pieces. Hundreds and hundreds of men, women and children, innocent civilians are being killed by Vladimir Putin's killing machine. So the fear is that will happen here too and that we are sitting ducks. Maybe. Maybe. As you know, I am a Monty Python, look on the bright side of life kind of optimist. I don't want to appear to be a Panglossian idiot. I'm aware of what war does. I've been around and seen how awful it can be. However, I was talking to a, an old British Army soldier today who said, the Russians, they're not looking after their dead. They're not taking their dead away. And an army that doesn't look after its, its own dead brothers, it's not gonna win. And I think my old friend, formerly the British Army, is right. <laughs>